You know, it is kind of strange that not only have we seen zero gameplay from Bayonetta 3, but Platinum hasn't really given us any word on the game at all. They say everything is fine, but I'm starting to wonder if that's not the case. In this video, we are going to talk about the missing game from E3 2021, which is Bayonetta 3 and the recent words about the Bayonetta 3 director on the speculation on the game from the players. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, it helps you to push the video to more people, the more you do, and if you want to follow me on Twitter and help me reach my goal of 600 followers, you can follow me at Roborop93. Without further delay, let's get to the video. So Bayonetta 3 is one of those games like Breath of the Wild 2, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and other Nintendo Switch games that we haven't seen anything on it at all all, it's still a mystery to us. These two games of course being before we actually saw gameplay from E3 2021. But even before we saw the new Breath of the Wild 2 trailer and the Shin Megami Tensei 5 trailer, at least with Breath of the Wild 2's case anyways, we got video game developer updates in Nintendo Directs in the past. Breath of the Wild 2 had a couple updates during those past Nintendo Directs and even Metroid Prime 4, a game that restarted its development, also had some updates. Even if it was just the game directors and the people working on the game coming out on video and saying yeah this game is still going on it's in, still in development and we're still working on it. In fact, we had one of those in the Nintendo Direct itself and we also had a new Metroid Prime game. Uh, not Metroid Prime, it's Metroid. I keep messing that up. It's becoming a very weird habit. I, I don't know why I keep doing that. But anyways, when it comes to Bayonetta 3, it is really strange that we haven't seen anything, not even a small peep about the game other than a game development update which usually comes in a quote from an interview. Which I guess you can call that an update, but it doesn't have the same impact as say them coming out in a video and saying this is what's happening with Bayonetta 3. And the reason why I bring this up is because it's based on some recent words from the Bayonetta 3 director and how he doesn't like other people assuming the development has stopped or the game has been delayed. If you don't like people speculating on a game that was shown four years ago with zero updates whatsoever and no gameplay at all and not even a in-game CGI cutscene, then give us an update. And by update, I don't even mean showing gameplay or even another CGI trailer. This could be just one small minute video that's 30 seconds or maybe a minute or a minute and a half and saying Bayonetta 3 is still going strong in development and it's still in development. Now multiple articles have popped up over time in the past four years that says yes this game is still in development but doesn't have the same impact as it would if you got on video and put up a small video on YouTube or in a Nintendo Direct like other games. Just saying it in an interview or a quote or tweet doesn't have the reach of influence that it has over a video. This is why those small updates in the Nintendo Directs on Metroid Prime 4 and Breath of the Wild 2 work so well. Yes the players really want to see gameplay on these games, but that small clip in the Nintendo Directs really gave an impact on the players and said, okay, this game is definitely still going and the development is still going smooth. Doing that for Bayonetta 3 in the recent E3 Nintendo Direct would have been nice. When you don't give players info on the development of the game, of course they're going to speculate on what's going on because they just don't know. And if you don't like that, then you can change it. Otherwise, don't get upset over people forming their own thoughts on the information, or I should say information list, situation around your game. I mean, at this point, for years have passed already and you can't even say the game was revealed too early. I mean Breath of the Wild 2 was revealed around the same time if I remember correctly and now we have gameplay and even before we had those small snippets of gameplay that we saw in the new trailer we also had small updates and we also had the in-game cutscene as well two years ago. I just think something is going on and I wouldn't be shocked if it does come out and say that there's some kind of trouble with development or there's going to be some kind of delay or something along those lines. If development is going as smooth as they say gameplay would have been shown at E3 or at the very least a story trailer. And the thing is, if this is the case, coming out and saying it is better than not saying it at all. And if that's not the case, then let's be honest, if development is going as smooth as they say, gameplay would have been shown at E3 or some kind of update. I don't know, this is just my two cents on this whole situation. Beta 3 was missing from E3 and it is kind of weird. What do you guys think? Do you guys think there's something wrong with Beta 3's development behind the scenes? Or do you think the game is doing fine and they just didn't want to show gameplay for whatever reason after four years of development on the game? Game. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and want more gaming news subscribe to the channel and have that notification bell on. Thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.